since we're about running out of time, to do something maybe a little fun, maybe a little annoying. I wanted to read. <laughs> some... That's how I would describe you in general. Yeah. Maybe a little yeah. fun, but maybe a little annoying. That's cat. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to read you some some titles and just give you like I, I'm a fan or or not not a fan of how the language is 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 being used in this, right? You 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 good with that? Yeah. And you're gonna get a lot of not a fans, I can already tell right. you. Okay. All right. And I've included some in here that I actually am a, am a fan here okay. uh, at the end too. So it'll be interesting to see if we agree there as well. Cause I don't think like you just can't use science in a title, like by any sure. means, right? So, okay. So what are the best blank exercises science-based? I am neutral on that. Neutral because on I do think we're getting to the point where you can, well, no, actually, no, I'm a negative because best exercises almost uh, assumes that everyone does exercises for the same thing. And how many mm -hmm. times have Olympic lifters and bodybuilders fought about how to squat, right? So not a fan. Yeah, I agree too. Too much, too much individual variability and oftentimes not as specific, right? Especially it's like, okay, you know. Lacking right. a goal is, is yeah. my not well, a fan. Which one, it. right? But it's usually, it usually never gets down to the specificity of the tissue, the specificity of the goal, and who the individual is, et cetera. Cool. We agree there. All right. Not that we need to agree on all these anyway. All right. Scientifically proven X workout. Oh, definitely not for the whole workout. That, not a fan. Yeah. Right. And then similarly, this is basically the same thing, but it's like the evidence-based blank mm -hmm. workout, right? I think like... In, I think it's impossible when you come down to to the to the workout thing, right? I mean, the more granular we get, the more we can be like, okay, yeah, we have principles that support this. But okay, sure, all right. Optimal blank training according to science or backed by science, like optimal back training, optimal squat training, something like yeah. that. Yeah, I, science can't tell you what's optimal, so I'm also not a fan. I will say that this entire category is playing the algorithm game and then potentially once you get to the meat of the video delivering the nuance mm -hmm. so there are titles that we've used for iron culture that i'm not a fan of but then i know like it's a podcast so they're going to listen yeah. so it's this isn't an indictment saying the person shouldn't do it but the titles in a vacuum yeah if that's all we're going to get I'm not a fan <laughs> yeah i i would say in large i am not satisfied with the content that follows the titles mm. right that's that's where i currently sit okay best and worst exercises ranked with science definitely not a fan because for what if you were to and and you know the, the the defense here is let's say the person only makes hypertrophy or strength content mm -hmm. maybe it gets a little better so i, I think it is uh, i i jeremy jeff milo pack don't at me for me saying I don't like these things because, but, <laughs> but I, I mean, yeah, I, I get it. And this is, this is kind of going back to that prior point. Like you have to play the game to some degree and I'm not sure mm -hmm. where to draw the line in the sand, but yeah, the titles and I in vacuum, in a vacuum, not a fan of almost any of them. Yeah. The per potentially the worst one I think on here, the perfect blank workout according to science. Yeah. That's not even by best, far. but perfect. Yeah, perfect. I love it. It gets no better. All right. The most scientific way to train blank. So probably body part is what you'd put in there. That I mean, that's better. Yeah, that that's one's better. yeah. I'm yeah. kind of that one I'm kind of neutral on, right? And again, it would really yeah. depend on 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 what falls. Right. So like kind of, you know, cheating here, but here's the three that I find or that are the that I think that that are the best out of the ones, the examples I could pull. One was basically science applied, you know, X training, right? Like I okay. like that, like, oh, cool. We're, we're taking, we're, we're applying it, but it's not saying that science says this. Yep. I like it. That one gets an approval. Absolutely. Um, very almost like a synonym here, but the other one was science informed blank mm -hmm. workout. Right. Yeah. Um, and then this one is, is like the best blank science explained right and i'm like okay sure you can, i don't think if there's anything wrong with having an opinion 
on or mm -hmm. a hierarchy of those and then going through your site like that to me seems like scientific somebody's going to give me their opinion and give you mm -hmm. an explanation so i'm like okay yeah like that one seems more right yeah nothing fundamentally wrong with that okay it depends on what actually i think the, the blank there is very important because if it's like the best workout science explain i'm like that's the science can't explain that you know like mm -hmm. it would it would need to be what the blank is for me to, to give it the full thumbs mm -hmm. yeah I mean, this, this is too many, there's an infinite number of, of iterations 100%. here or whatever. And I left the blank out there just so it would be slightly harder for somebody just to like literally type it in Google and find, oh, who, who, who posted that exact title? It's not a huge secret for a bunch of them, but no, you know, and they're, and they're channels I've been featured on and people I collaborate <laughs> with and people I think do good work in the industry too. And I think, like I said earlier, I think it's, I have stepped away from critiquing the way people draw a line in the sand with how much clickbait, how much algorithm playing they have to do when they're ultimately trying to deliver good information that I agree with in, in, in most, which is why it, I, it's almost a meme, me saying neutral to positive, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and I think it's also okay for content creators to get that wrong and then change, you know, because we're not in a, it's not an easy game. And uh, like I recently had Lane Norton on Iron Culture and it basically told him like there was a time when I thought the way you tried to you know debunk pseudoscience was counterproductive and I disliked it and I judged it and these days I think we have very different problems and I'm seeing you've actually had a pretty positive impact like I I haven't been on Joe Rogan and no you don't deliver the level of nuance and no you're not devoid of of ad hominem attacks sometimes and yes you do make you know broad distinctions but at the same time like you've also probably prevented a lot of people from going down some shitty rabbit holes that i haven't been able to impact and i've had to reflect and go well you know i'm probably more useful to other practitioners who are helping their clients rather than mm -hmm. hitting the broad middle sector of just consumers who are listening to huberman or rogan they at least get that that that, that lane norton voice and that's probably an important thing now with the new problems of 2024 versus you know, when my holdover opinions from 2012, you know, so it's, I don't, I, I wish I knew all the answers and I wish I could look to all of our colleagues in the evidence-based sector, who I think we all are part of the same sector and say that this is the way you should be doing it. But I do think it's important to have conversations, but I think we also need to acknowledge that many of the people who might have these titles are trying to find a way to hit a lot of people with good information. And I know you're not necessarily satisfied in all those cases with that information. But I think we also have to consider what the alternatives are in many cases. Yeah. And they're, they're yeah. worse. If you enjoyed this clip, make sure you check out the full episode link in the description below.